All right, so I hope the last few videos uh, made the concepts related to Thevenin and Norton equivalent even more clear for you guys. So now let's move on to another very important concept called maximum power transfer. Now, before starting this, I'll just tell you something. For example, if I draw a Thevenin circuit here, and this is our Thevenin, and this is my desired load, whatever I want to consider. What I actually want is for the power consumed by this load to be maximum, PL to be maximum. Now, there is one component in this circuit clearly which is supplying power and that is the voltage source. And there are two components, R7 and RL, which are consuming power. So I want that this should consume the least power and this should consume the maximum amount of power. So how to do that? First thing to note is that the formula of power is IV and that can also be written as I square R. We have discussed this in another video, in a previous video. So a layman would, would certainly say that the easiest way to increase PL would be to increase RL because this would just these uh, this would just increase the power. But what you need to know is that, for example, the current through the resistor, this current IL is equal to V Thevenin over R Thevenin plus RL. So if you increase RL, IL would go down. And if I goes down, power should be going down. So you need to find a middle ground so that the current does not go very, very, very low and the resistance should increase so that the power becomes maximum. So to know what that value of RL would be, like what, what value of resistance should you choose to for the maximum power transfer, Let's just use calculus and, and just mathematics to see what that resistance should be. Now, I know that the, the current through RL is IL and that is V divided by R Thevenin plus RL. V, uh, v Thevenin RL. So that is IL and the power is equal to IL squared RL and that would be V Thevenin squared divided by R Thevenin plus RL squared into RL so that is PL now this is the formula that I got for PL so I need a value of RL that makes PL at its maximum at its maximum value so to those who are familiar with calculus you know how to do that you just need to find this derivative and equate this equal to zero so at whatever RL this derivative is equal to zero that would be the point where the PL is maximum So let's just find the derivative and for that we need to use the quotient rule So we have a numerator which is V Thevenin squared RL We have a denominator R Thevenin plus RL squared This is not a calculus course so I won't go into the details of the derivative But you can easily see a video on YouTube about how to how to apply a quotient rule Alright, so by finding the derivative, this is what I got. So this entire thing, this is the derivative, dPL over dRL. So the maximum power would be at the point where this is equal to zero. And for this to be equal to zero, its numerator should be equal to zero. So let's just equate the numerator is equal to zero. So now I just equated the numerator equal to zero, and let's see, let's see at what value of RL would this be equal to zero. So first thing is that I can just cancel this out. And I would just get RS plus RL squared is equal to 2RL, RS plus RL. So I can just divide this and then I would get RS plus RL is equal to 2RL. And taking this RL to this side, RL is equal to R, I'm sorry, this is R Thevenin. So RL is equal to R Thevenin. So I just wrote RS, which is R Thevenin. So this is something very interesting. So that means that the maximum transfer to the resistor RL would be if it is equal to the Thevenin resistance of the circuit. So the easiest way to find the maximum power transfer would be just to find R Thevenin. And you can just say that if you put a load that is equal to R Thevenin, you would see the maximum power transfer through that load. So let's just see an example now. So I have this circuit and the question is to find the RL that would experience the maximum power transfer to the resistor. So the first thing to do is to find R Thevenin because if I equate this RL to R Thevenin then I would see the maximum power transfer. So as there are just independent sources I can use a simple method of uh, removing the sources. So let's just do that. 
So I just removed all the sources. They were the voltage, they were voltage sources, so I replaced them with short circuit. And now I will just find R thevenin. These two resistors they are connected between the two same pair of nodes, so they are in parallel. So the equivalent resistance would be uh, two times two divided by two plus two, and that would be one kilo ohms. So this is R thevenin. So the answer is that if I put R L equal to if I put RL equal to R thevenin, meaning one kilo ohms, I would see the maximum power transfer. And if you if you just solve the circuit and find the current if uh, through this, you would see that that's the right answer. So the main the main key takeaway is that maximum power transfer through a resistor happens when it is equal to R thevenin. So that is something you need to remember. And I hope these uh, this made things a little more clear.